had dreams about. And so that keeps me working hard in the game. And it will probably keep me fighting a lot longer than what I really want to fight. I'd like to retire and enjoy my family, spend more time with my wife. I'm gone all the time. I've been training away from her. Been married to her since October 21st and only live with her now for about three or four weeks. Marvin Johnson's career of 24 fights marked by fast starting and willing competition, but has disdained pace. So there are some questions about his stamina. His current philosophy on his profession sounds like this. Being from a very poor background, I had always hoped to one day find my mama a big, beautiful home, marry a wife that I could love and raise a family as I was raised, but better off financially. And as I began to realize that, well, it became more of a job to me and a business rather than just a sport. I have always liked boxing. I used to love it. I don't love it now like I used to, but I still like it. Well, those are the principles. Marvin Johnson and Matthew Franklin, 15 rounds, World Boxing Council Light Heavyweight Championship. You'll see it live from Market Square Arena, Indianapolis, Indiana, and we'll begin in a moment. Now, the introduction of the fighters, ring announcer Stu Goldner. Promoters Top Rank and Fred Burns present this afternoon's main event. 15 scheduled rounds for the World Boxing Council's Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. The referee today the is George DeFabus, the judge Davis, Tom Catterson, Davis, those two Davis, from Indiana, judge appointed Guerra. by the WBC, the Juan Guerra. He is from Monterrey, Mexico. Introducing challenger in the blue corner from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing 175 pounds, wearing blue trunks with a white stripe, currently North American Federation of the weight champion, Matthew Franklin. His opponent in the red corner, weighing 175 pounds, It is a 10-point must-per-round scoring system. The bell will not save you. Three knockdown rule waves since it's a title fight. The ring is 18 feet two. And as we told you, there are three officials, two judges, the referee, George DeFabus, appointed by the Indiana State Athletic Commission, Judge Tom Catterson of Indiana, and Judge Juan Guerra from Monterey, Mexico, for the WBC. The tail of the tape, both men hitting right on the weight at 175. In the reach area is where there is some significance. 
It is a three and a half inch edge for Matthew Franklin. The champion Johnson is a left hander. This is the second title fight in Indianapolis. The only other one ever held here back in May of 1959 when Floyd Patterson defended his heavyweight championship knocking out Brian London at the fairground. The crowd as we mentioned estimated right now between nine and ten thousand still coming in. And this is the second meeting between Matthew Franklin and Marvin Johnson. They fought in Philadelphia previously and it's considered one of the most savage fights in Philly boxing history and there have been a lot of fights in Philly. So here we go, round number one. Marvin Johnson has never been particularly effective with the right hand jab. His philosophy on boxing is very simple. When the bell rings, you start fighting. And he does that, which has sort of made the pace factor questionable, whether or not he has the stamina to maintain the pace he chooses to set. In winning the championship against Monte Parlov, he used the right hand very effectively and scored a lot of points with it and ultimately rendered Parlov helpless. The left hand is used primarily from a power position of an uppercut. And it's considered by those who have fought him and those who have been around him and watched him to be one of the toughest blows that anybody at 175 pounds has ever carried in their arsenal. Matthew Franklin, on the other hand, has a tendency to arm hit, not using as much of the body leverage as he might. Perhaps that is one of the reasons that he's able to maintain a better pace through the course of a tough fight. But here in the early going, the champion has come out pressing has used the right jab and the left hand very well. He goes ripping to the body. And one of the things that we pointed out in our small up close and personal look at Matthew Franklin, he has shown in his personal history as having remarkable recuperative powers. The champion pressing the issue here in the first round. We move just beyond the halfway point of round number one. Good stiff left to the face of Matthew Franklin. Marvin Johnson wearing the white trunks, the champion. Matthew Franklin, the challenger, in the blue. by Franklin was picked off by Johnson. Made a big sound that had no effect. A right hand by Franklin over the guard of Johnson at the end of round number one. The champion walking to his corner. And the corner men for the champion Johnson are Champ Cheney, who trains him, Leon Tabb, and Leon McGill. They seem satisfied with the first round by the champion. Johnson was the aggressor, as he was expected to be. He came out pressing the fight from the very beginning. The attitude or the thinking of Matthew Franklin, as he put it, was to be the matador and let Johnson be the bull to pick him off as he makes his march in because that's the way that Johnson fights. Nick Belfiore, Joe Belfiore, and Jimmy Hayes are the corner men for Matthew Franklin. 15 rounds, we have had one round, and the champion, because of his aggressiveness and because of the early scoring in the opening minute, may very well have claimed round number one. The 
champion Johnson in the white trunks. Challenger and Franklin in the blue. Johnson pressing ahead. Hard right to the body and hard right to the face of Johnson. Both blows by Franklin. Both landed. Johnson rattles Franklin some. Remember, it's Johnson's hometown. This is the WBC championship at light heavyweight, 175 pounds. Victor Galindez is the WBA champion having defeated Mike Rossman a few days ago. Will the, they, the winner of Galindez meet the winner of this fight? Well, who can say? Somewhere down the road, maybe. No matter which man survives this war, <laughs> it would be worth going to see, I'll tell you that. Remember the history of Johnson. He has shown in instances, particularly in his last fight against Franklin, this run out of gas late. Whereas Franklin has shown remarkable abilities to come back. And Franklin just tagged Johnson with a hard right hand, and the champion seemed to wobble from the hard right. Lost some of the sharpness. Lost his ability to move around. There was a little bit of a slip in that Stumbled by the champion. Right now it is Franklin ripping away. Here in the second round it is Franklin beginning to assume command. Hard right hand to the jaw of Johnson. Franklin pounding away at the bottom. Brilliantly conditioned after. Johnson comes back with a hard left hook to the side of the head. It was expected to be a war and that's what it is. Two stand up bloody fighters. At 175 pounds, boiling away. As we're coming up on 10 seconds to the end of round number two. Hard left hand by Johnson. And the second round is over. contest He 
the way at the end of this round we will take the station break hard left hand by Johnson that one missed Less than a minute to go now in round three. Has that uppercut again? It's a punishing blow. Half a minute to go in round three. Well, I tell you, they're just loading up and letting it go. Both sides as that hard left and again the left uppercut slips in by the champion Johnson. Approaching the end of round three as they trade in the center of the ring. We'll be back before this WBC World Lightweight Championship fight after this word from our local station. <laughs> 